let's solve inequalities using inverse operations. Inequality number one. Step one. Read the inequality. Four times y plus two is less than 22. Step two. Use the additive inverse to remove the numeric term on the variable side. In this equation, the variable side is this left-hand side, and the numeric term is plus 2. To undo plus 2, the additive inverse will be to subtract 2. And we are going to use this on both sides, because we can use any operation as long as we apply it to both sides, keeping the inequalities balanced. Subtracting 2 from both sides, we will arrive at 4y is less than 20. How did we remove the numeric term, plus 2? To remove the numeric term, we use the additive inverse of subtracting 2, and we apply this operation to both sides of the inequality. Step 3. Use the multiplicative inverse to solve for the variable. We want to get y all by itself. Right now it has a coefficient of 4 that we want to turn into a 1. The multiplicative inverse is going to be used, and it will be to divide by 4, and we're going to do that on both sides. 4y divided by 4 equals y is less than 20 divided by 4 equals 5, and this is our solved inequality. We read the solution as solutions are all values less than 5. So 5 is not included, but 4, 3, 2, and anything lower is all included because these are all values as long as they are less than 5. How did we solve for the variable? After removing the numeric term, having 4y is less than 20, we solved for the variable by using the multiplicative inverse on both sides of the inequality, which in this case was 4. 4 divided by 4 equaled 1, so we have just 1y, and the inequality was solved because the variable y was all alone on that side of the inequality. Step 4 is optional. Graph the solution. So I'm going to do a quick graph here. First, you're going to want to draw your number line, and then put the value that's the starting point right in the middle of the number line. Now give a couple of numbers before and after this value, so maybe like a 3, 4, and a 6, 7, just to kind of show the starting point right in the middle here. And then let's do the correct circle type. 5 is not included in the solution, so 5 is going to have an open circle at this point. Then we're going to draw our solution arrow in the direction of all the less than values, and this would be my graph for all solutions are values less than Five, and not including 5, that's why we have an open circle. You are now ready to solve the inequality in problem number 2, getting the variable x all alone on one side, using inverse operations.